Hi, I'm Steve Jones from SQL Server Central. I want to show you a little bit about the new SQL Compare from Redgate Software. Now, I've got this SQL Server 2016 instance here, and you'll notice I've got these two databases. One is essentially my demo and development database, and then I've got a production database where I move that code over. And in my uh, demo database here, you'll notice I've got this query I run. I get eight rows back from this table with some data. As a matter of fact, if I run it as a particular user, I get the same eight rows back, but the, the data is masked here. I have dynamic data masking in place. Now I want to implement some row level security. I've already built a function that will do this and set it up. So let's add this security policy. Now let's run my query again. We'll notice as my user, I only get three rows now instead of the eight that we saw before. And in fact, because of row level security is not bound by SQL server security as DBO, I actually get no rows back. So let's see how we can actually de deploy this change, this code over to my production database. Here's a new SQL Compare 12 interface. You'll notice it's a little bit cleaner look now and easier to see. I can pick my source and I can see my recently used items there and we'll go to my development database. And again, in my target, I can pick my recently used instance and I'm gonna say my production database. Certainly these could be on separate hosts or virtual, virtual machines or anything else, but in this case, they're on the same one. We'll do the comparison, which occurs uh, fairly quickly here. Once that's done, you'll see there's a number of items listed. Now, I don't care about some items when I'm deploying code. Typically roles, users I'm not worried about, my uh, security mechanisms like my keys and certificates I'm not worried about as well. So when I pull those out, what I really see is, is the code that I want to deploy is my function, that's a table valued function, and my security policy for row level security. So I can easily deploy those. I'll click deploy. I'm going to deploy using SQL compare, even though I could create the script. I could back this up as well. We'll run this. You'll notice it says there's these two items that need to be changed. And these are dependent on these other objects, which is fine. I have no changes to these objects, so I can allow the dependencies to go. Here's a script that's going to actually run. I've got my function being created here and then my security policy with the predicate being added here. So once we deploy this, I get the warning letting me know, do I really want to deploy to this particular database? I do. That happens very quickly. We now run a new comparison to see if there are any differences in those objects. We see there are no differences and everything works as we expect. If we now switch over to our production database and I were to look at this data as DBO, I don't see any data. I don't have the same users in this database, so I have to pick a different user. But once I do that, you'll see that I see 10 rows, which is a small fraction of the thousand or so that actually exists in this table. Hopefully this video has shown you how SQL Compare can help you move the new SQL Server 2016 row level security between databases. I'm Steve Jones for SQL Server Central and Redgate Software.